Well, that gets us into the decorating. Yes. Uh, would you like to put a nice thick line of icing along the ridge? Mm -hmm. That's perfect. And I've got these Smarties here. And it's a great place to start to place some lollies, your favourite lollies, anything you like, along the ridge there like that. It's beautiful. And after Mum's decorated the ridge line with her Smarties, I'm going to do one little roof icing pattern that you can do. I'm going to do a diagonal pattern, which is really beautiful. So this is a DIY mm -hmm. hack. Uh, it's, what we've done is actually pre-score the roots and what, by that what I mean is we've taken a knife and traced the pattern in before we've assembled the pieces. And another little trick I like to do as well just to neaten things up is put a little button of icing along where all the lines on the roof cross just to neaten things up and just make it look a little bit more Finished. together. Yeah. <laughs> Is it my turn? Okay. Yes, your okay. turn. So I'm going to flip it around and Mum's going to do another pattern now, a scallop pattern. And this shingle design is a more traditional European pattern. And it makes a more wintry, cosy looking gingerbread house. And it's also very pretty. And as you can see, Mum is using the same uh, little hack that we did before on the other roof piece, where we uh, scored the roof piece before it was assembled and then we're just tracing that now. It takes a little bit of concentration, doesn't it? <laughs> and this is a beautiful little trick that really brings the house together. So if you start at a gutter edge of your roof piece, just hold the icing against it, squeeze and pull away. And don't worry if you don't get the hang of it straight away because you've got quite a few sides to get into it. And as you can see, that just has a really beautiful effect and they look very cute and elegant and we've done that as decoration on some of the other houses on display as well. to shake a fresh fall of snow now over the gingerbread house because that is a lovely way to finish the house and uh, a little bit more decorating and it'll be perfect for the Christmas table. I think so. As you can see, there's some icicles along here. There's also a shingled roof pattern along here and also some little dumps of snow 